here. Om Shanti, Namaste. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> so today we are looking at reverse warrior. So we did that last week on the ground. You probably have an understanding now. I like to do it on the ground first, to offer it lower down and then come up to stand. So reverse warrior, you might come from it from the top of the mat, stepping a foot back and moving in like so. You also might come from it from the ground. You might come from downward facing dog. You might invite the leg, one leg up in the air, and then you might take that foot between the hands, drop the back heel down, climb up the front body to find warrior two, and then you might settle into that and move into it from there. So wherever you want to come from, basically, that feels comfortable to you is where we can get some knowledge of this wonderful posture, reverse warrior. So we're going to start, I'm just going to take, so we're going to come to that warrior two position. We're going to take the front toes forwards and the back toes. So the front foot is pointing straight towards the short ends of your mat, the top of your mat. The back foot is turning slightly in. So here's our warrior two and we're bending into that front knee. And as we bend into the front knee, we slowly start to take those arms out to the sides, relaxing the shoulders. So we know we can have the front heel in line with the inner arch or the back heel. And as we move in here to this reverse warrior posture, we then inhale, flip the front palm, the back hand finds the back thigh, and we exhale. So we've got this support of the back thigh. We need to be careful of the neck here and where we're looking. So we might look down to the back foot if the neck feels in any way sore or it might, you might have an injury there. You might look forwards or you might look up to the hand in the air. So notice how the shoulder wants to lift out of the top, top shoulder out of the top socket. Try and roll the shoulders down. And yes, this is a little back bend. I can automatically feel that there's work in my foot and ankle, both feet and ankles in fact. Knees, particularly the front one. Quads, thighs, hips. We're really starting to open up into the muscles, the intercostal muscles between the ribs, so it's working into the abdominals and the digestive tract, rolling into the shoulders, the neck, and into the arms, palms, fingers, and thumbs. So quite a, a big posture in terms of where we're gaining the benefit here. And of course, if you find for you that you don't want to bend the front knee, you can straighten it. Just don't lock that front knee. If it feels better for you to have a straighter leg, the posture is with a bent knee, but you know, you go to where it feels best for you. You're nudging the tailbone down, you're relaxing the glutes, lifting through the belly, opening up. So I'm really starting to feel that expanse in this right side of me and the chest, breathing into the base of the lungs, the mid lungs, the upper lung. And then inhaling and exhaling and releasing, and we'll go to the other side. So I'm just gonna switch my feet around. So remember, you can come at it from the ground, tabletop, downward dog, stepping through to warrior two and kind of arriving at this position and then you would move into reverse warrior, the Purita Virabhadrasana. So finding your foothold on the ground, really important. Front heel in line with the inner arch or the back heel bending that front knee over the ankle. It might not go that far. Just don't let it go beyond the ankle, relaxing the shoulders. There's our warrior two, drawing the belly and releasing the glutes down and the tail down. So try not to grip the back of your body. Inhale, flip the front palm, exhale the back hand to the back side. There's our support. You know, of course, if you have a deeper posture, you can slide that back hand down that back thigh. But remember, the here is perfect. We're, Kind of more interested, I think, in opening up. Again, continuing this open up through the side body, the belly, working the chest and lungs, the shoulders. 
So again, starting to feel it right the way from the base, from the ground, from my toes and the four corners of the feet through the heels and ankles, shins and calves, knees, really stretching to open the groins and the belly and the chest and inside the, the muscles in between the ribs, the intercostal muscles. Remember, roll that top shoulder back. Don't let it come out of its socket. And you can look down if that's better for your neck, forwards or up. Try not to shorten in this right side of you. Try to let the right glute go. Try not to shorten in the right side of the body. So quite often I see the shortenings. Try to stay long and lifted. And you know, again, you can straighten that top, the front leg, just be careful of not locking that knee. Breathing in and out for one. Breathing in and out for two. Feeling that lovely expansion through the upper body and chest. Breathing in and out for three. Roll the shoulders down. Inhaling and exhaling. We come back, heel toe the feet together to standing. Let's just take a moment to receive that posture. Really feeling that in the groins and around the hips. Couple of breaths here. And then slowly returning. So that was our reverse warrior posture from standing, Viparita Virabhadrasana. So as always, you can catch these. I do one every Wednesday, a little breakdown of each posture because when we're flowing in our practice, we don't get a lot of time to actually understand what's happening for us. So you can get this from my website, www.nutri5plus.co.uk. And if you go to that website, you'll land on the first page, scroll down to the white writing services and classes, click on that, and you'll land on all of my classes at the moment that are online. There's also a YouTube channel on there with some free yoga videos, which is where we're going to here with the One Posture Wednesdays. Scroll down to Wednesday, there's a hyperlink, click here, click on it, and it will take you to my YouTube channel. And there's videos on there, and there's also a 30-minute chair yoga sequence that I know is quite popular. And always happy to receive your comments, and I will be putting some meditation on there, some guided meditation, Nidra as well, about 15, 20 minutes or so. And I'm also looking at doing some shorter practices, 20, 25, 30-minute practices. For those of you that are very busy and still want to get on your mat. So keep an eye, keep checking back to my YouTube channel. And then of course from Wednesday and you clicked onto the hyperlink, it takes you to my YouTube channel. And if you click on the videos, there's all the One Posture Wednesdays there that I've been doing in the lockdown. The first one and this one. So do have a look. I hope that you are finding them useful and I'll look forward to seeing you next week for another One Posture Wednesday. Thanks so much. Om Shanti. Namaste. Bye.